Taurus. This will happen in the next 48 hours for March the 9th through March the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March the 9th through March the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus. For March the 9th through March the 10th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus. For March the 9th through March the 10th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus. You have the four of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Taurus, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the four of wands for Taurus. Clarify the four of wands for Taurus. Clarify the four of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Taurus could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Taurus, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now Taurus, you could tell me that you're thinking of going into some type of an agreement for your financial stability sake. However, Taurus, you can tell me that you guys are wanting to solidify you guys' soulmate connection because you're so deep in love and maybe wanting to go into a commitment here. Taurus, you have the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the Four of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Four of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Four of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Taurus, listen, could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit. For Taurus, clarify the hermit. For Taurus, it is clarified with the moon. 
Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Taurus could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Taurus, listen, could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Taurus. Clarify justice for Taurus. Clarify justice for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft. Perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Taurus, listen, this could all be work or business for you. Or you're telling me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Or you're planning something and working on something here. Now Taurus, listen, you can tell me that, you know, you guys may have been on a break over a secret, yes? But maybe you're wanting to work things out here, okay? Maybe wanting to come in and right a wrong or allow them to come in and right a wrong. But Taurus, listen, is this some type of secret that only you know about? That you're doing some heavy-duty soul searching concerning it? You're meditating and planning something here? Possibly going to the justice of the peace with commitment here. Okay, could also tell me that this is something going on with work or business, Taurus, and some type of an agreement. Taurus, you have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords for Taurus. Clarify the king of swords for Taurus. Clarify the king of swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now the high priestess keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Taurus, listen. You can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition. Or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. Clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, it is clarified with the queen of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Taurus could be dealing with Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done, and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. 
So Taurus, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You could tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here, or this is an announcement being made. Now Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're needing to make a decision and you're using your intuition concerning some type of awards or accolades or something dealing with work or business and some type of partnership for your stability's sake. But Taurus, is it that this is your little secret that you're using your intuition here concerning making some type of an announcement, making a decision to make some type of an announcement or a decision to come forth with truthful communication? And it very well could be with working things out, but not just that. Maybe thinking about solidifying you guys' relationship. Taurus, you have the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind. Losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Taurus, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Nine of Swords. For Taurus. Clarify the Nine of Swords. For Taurus. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up, being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting, a little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. So Taurus, listen, I feel like you're a little hesitant here. Because it seems to me that you're all up in your mind doing some heavy-duty soul-searching here, okay? And this is what's bothering you. Taurus, you have the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high-ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So, Taurus, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here or receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. <clears throat> Taurus, very well could be receiving something here, dealing with work or business. Yes, okay. You could also tell me that the reason why you're a little hesitant with this work or business situation is because maybe you feel like you're being shortchanged. However, Taurus, you may want to give something here because you have commitment on the brain, Taurus. Maybe wanting to make an announcement, but again, you're still a little hesitant. Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours from March the 9th through March the 10th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.